So I just got my two Colts in uh, from Walmart. And you know where this is going. I usually get two because one, I like to have one sealed. And then the other one is to open for the channel and to have loose. The other reason why I like to get multiples, especially from Walmart, Walmart in particular, is because uh, as most of you guys watching this already know, Walmart sucks at shipping out uh, their stuff. It always comes in like small boxes that they just cram in there and the card bags dented up and just horrible and I was hoping that wasn't gonna happen I mean I ordered two uh, of Havoc here and they shipped them out in a box both card backs were in pristine condition absolutely amazing condition so I was hoping that the same would go for uh, Art Commander Colt However, that's not that that's not the that's not the case here, unfortunately. This one has a big old crease right here. Along with this edge, it's uh it's a lot more easier to see from the back. And not to mention it's kind of bent up right there on the upper left corner. Then I looked at this one, and this one doesn't look so bad offhand. It doesn't have any veins, but uh, the card back is not even. I was wondering if maybe I could put like some heavy books on top of it. One book on this side, and then another on this side laying on the top right corner. Other than that, it looks pretty good. But even if I was to do that and hope for the best, uh, with uh, getting that card back straight the bubble is bent <sighs> I swear when it comes to Walmart exclusives you can't you just can't win hey everyone it's masterpiece and today I'm gonna be reviewing Art Commander Colt from the Clone Wars hey folks so before the video starts, I wanted to let you know that I started a Patreon. There are three tiers for you to choose from. The first membership tier being the $3 general supporter tier. All of these proceeds will go towards making videos on my YouTube channel, upkeep of my website, and action figure customs, along with a shout out page at the end of each of my YouTube videos. The second tier is the $5 cosplay fan supporter membership where you'll have a separate shout out page at the end of each video, access to the gallery of all my cosplay pictures as soon as they're edited and uploaded, voting polls, sneak peeks, help with cosplay builds that I've made in the past, and behind the scene videos. The third and final tier is a $10 master supporter tier where you'll have early access to Master Lab YouTube videos, voting polls, sneak peeks, behind the scenes, a separate shout out page at the end of each video, first in line to buy Master Lab projects as soon as they're made available to sell, and more. This is the ultimate Master Lab experience with the opportunity to work alongside me on future Master Lab projects. If you were impressed by the AT-AT, just wait and see what we have planned next. So join the Master Lab team, and I appreciate all of you. Now onto the video. All right, so Art Commander Cole. Uh, I just want all three of these guys to be released already. Uh, I have the review of Havoc already on my channel. If you want to check that video out, I'll leave a link to that at the upper right hand corner of this video. But here we have Colt. This is a part of the Clone Wars 20th anniversary, so it has the little logo here. From the Clone Wars, a nice bright yellow uh, name pill 
for Art Commander Colt right there, along with the background uh, and for the bubble. It comes with all of the regular accessories that an ARC Trooper should, with the two uh, blaster pistols, the long range rifle, and then the uh, DC-15. He also comes with a removable helmet. You can see his uh, face there, helmetless. And the card back isn't too bad either. I like that card back image. Looking at the back, this is VC-276. We can see all of the other uh, figures that uh, they're advertising here. There's Havoc right there. Hunter I did a review on not too long ago. Same with Admiral Piet and the Scout Trooper, along with uh, Starkiller and that Phase 2 Clone Trooper is amazing. Uh, I strongly recommend that uh, if you haven't already gotten that why not that's a, an amazing figure the hype is definitely real I just ordered another one off of Amazon so I'm just gonna keep ordering them and making customs out of them it's a lot of fun I made Cody commander Cody and a airborne uh, 332nd or not 332nd 212th airborne 212 clone out of that body uh, check that out on my channel as well awesome stuff but uh yeah we're gonna get on to uh art commander colt she already know about most of this stuff the blasters standard issue for arc troopers so we're just gonna get right into the action figure let's take a look at the helmet so here's a helmet for Colt, really nice design. Uh, the rangefinder is uh, articulated, so you can move it up and put it down. If you so wanted to, I don't know why, but you could put it all the way back like that. Not like you would want to though. Mine though, it's a little weird. You see that the, the fin, how it just goes up like that? That's not supposed to be like that. That's supposed to be straight, but I think it was just packaged in the bubble like that. So now it's just kind of stuck like that, which is a little annoying. But other than that, the paint apps look really good. Here's Art Commander Colt. A very unique head sculpt I wish they would kind of use this one for like a, a Rex head sculpt but just make it make his his hair blonde you know what I mean there's a design for his comma skirt he's got some whites, some grays, a little bit of reds, and his pauldron looks really cool, really nice. Art Commander Colt from the Rancor Battalion. You can see all the details on his uh, left gauntlet. The paint apps are really nice. Well, check out the articulation so that's the articulation for the foot he is on a rocker ankle set articulation for the knee and he's not on the barbell hip joints unfortunately he can do the splits but uh, not as mobile as a figure that is on the bar barbell hip joint so if we move up we get some articulation at the waist 
You could do some crunches. The arm articulation is always kind of iffy with these arc troopers, but this one is pretty nice. It's just that the pauldron kind of does get in the way, so you have to keep that in mind. Elbow. Uh, left wrist. Can go up and down. And then... twist his wrist and same articulation with uh, the right exact same articulation the head can look up quite a bit and down side to side has some good movement I don't know if Havoc has that good articulation at the neck. I have to check that out. Don't forget that uh, these arc troopers have a nice little handy spot, a spot for their DC-15 rifles. This one can go into this slot right here on his backpack. The pistols will holster in right here. Like that. And his helmet fits on point. Looks super clean. Awesome. I'm gonna pose them up next to some figures. Shoot, why not just do Havoc right away? Let me see the articulation on the head of this guy. Oh darn, he does have basically the same articulation. Makes sense, but I don't know. It just feels more smoother on Colt. We're done for now if we get the, the yellow one, which is Blitz. So as soon as we get that shipped out, and I get it, uh, I will review that with these three. So in the meantime, uh, let's pose them up. All right, guys, there you have it, Arc Trooper Colt. Um, what do you guys think of this one? Did you guys have any luck with your Colt orders? I mean, it looks like I'm gonna have to order more than two now and, you know, sell the extra one that I have just so that I could have a good uh, chance at having a good card back with some of these exclusives. It's a shame, you know, I really wanted all of them to be in pristine condition, uh, especially the Rancor Battalion members, but that's not going to happen. So let me know if you guys were had any luck with Walmart shipping out your Colts. Um, but as of right now, that's it for this video. So I'll see you guys in the next one.